All right, the purpose of this video is to illustrate the variability in an electronic uh, scale with an electronic powder dispenser compared what it does, its output, to a Lyman 500 beam scale. It's, uh, right now I've got them both zeroed and calibrated using the same weights and I've got it, I'm looking for a 9.6 grain uh, power charge from the uh, dispenser. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's showing 9.6. Finally, it takes that scale a little while to stabilize. And I've got uh, cardboard boxes around it to keep the air currents off of it. But you see it's still floating just a little bit. But uh, let's just see what it does though. This would be a typical environment. Somebody's shop or their basement or their bullet company, whatever the case may be. But it uh, was supposed to dispense 9.6, uh, and the scale at some point said it was. But if you look here, you see it's just a hair low. It's one of those units on the uh, left hand side, each one of those increments is equal to two tenths of a grain. So it's just under the line, it's somewhere in the 9.5 grain range. I mean I could slide the beam up or down and uh, see exactly what it is but just from a pointing perspective if it's not dead on that line it's not dead on that weight. But So I'm saying that we're probably 9.5, 9.52 something in that range. Okay. I will dump that powder back in the pan. We'll go again. Now, of course, this stuff, uh, this fuel, if you look at the scale, it's on zero. I have zero to the scale, too. Uh, it does seem to be floating around a little bit today. Let's see if it will stabilize. The dispenser won't, uh, won't dispense if the scale is swimming around, or it doesn't seem to be. See if that helps me now. Okay, so anyway, we're stable now. I'm going to dispense now to 0.6. It's trickling up. Okay. According to the, beam, the electronic scales, it's 9.6. Let's put it over here and see what it is. So according to that, that is it's one full increment above the target. I bump the scale down a little bit to see if it comes back to the same place. It does. So that's really 9.8. I've, I've tested that beam scale backwards and forwards. And the only thing that varies on it is the operator. So I'm going to uh, put the powder back in the uh, dispenser hopper. Come back. We'll go again. It's nice and stable. I'm going to dispense 9.6. It's trickling up.
see if it changes. Yep, it's showing 9.6. It takes it a little bit of time for the scale display to update. By uh, the way, the dispenser seems to be working is it's reading the data right off the load cell or some circuit right off the load cell uh, through the IR port on the side of it, and the display on the scale itself seems to take a little bit longer to come to get correct. But the uh, so then I let's put it on our beam scale. <coughs> Take a look. It's off the mark, about half that increment. So that's really somewhere in the 9.7 range. So I could I could key in a, a, a drop on that, and I'll do that. But uh, I could key in a one tenth of a grain lower in order to get the actual. What I would like for it to be able to do is let me key in on the second digit so I could hit an average number. But uh, that's neither here nor there, as they say. But let's say I'm averaging, if I want to do 9.6 and I'm doing uh, 9.6 to 9.7, maybe I would rather do 9.55 to 9.65. So I'd like to be able to key in that difference so I can split the difference and do the average. The way I load actually is the numbers that I'm stating that my bullets will move at is really uh, the way I intend it to be is the minimum. So uh, I'll swing this camera back over. Dispense another 9.6. I mean, I can adjust the range down. I'm really just trying to show you, not necessarily whether it's hitting a 9.6 or not, even though that is important, but it's, uh, I want to show the differences between each charge when the settings are all the same. And right now, the scale says it's weighing 9.5. And it's uh, finished. The uh, scale didn't come up to 9.6 that time. It has been doing that. Let's see what we got for our beam. Take a look at the beam. Looks like the beam is on the money for 9.6. Very nearly. I mean, it, it, if you uh, split hairs on it, it's still a little bit heavy. But uh, but it's the, the scale illustrated that did it or showed that it was 9.5. So we'll do another. powder that pan on that scale is always uh, easy to get a little something on it under the pan now that pan that plastic pan right here it came with the uh, dispenser that's the closest thing to nothing that I think I've bought in a long time you can't the powder sticks to it it needs to be a metal pan but so I'm using the pan off the Lyman scale over on both of them anyway I'm going to dispense another charge with the target, like I say, of 9.6. I'm, I'm not really, like I say, not really looking for uh, accuracy in terms of hitting the set point. I just want to show you the difference between the delivered amount each time. It's okay, I've dispensed it. Let's see. Right now, scale showing 9.5. Put it on the beam. I've actually got 9.7 keyed in on the electronic digital, uh, the electronic dispenser. See, that's just a pinch over the 9.6 that the beam is on. It's, it, that one wasn't, that wasn't too bad. The last couple of them have been better. They're decent, but they're not as good as the uh, manual scale. Like I say, the only thing happens on the manual scale is after about 200 